Last two questions. Uh, explain the difference, different uh, substances at different densities. Well, density is a ratio of mass to volume. And it's how much mass in there, given how much space does it take up. I can have anything that's 100 pounds or 100 kilograms, but some objects like feathers would take up much more space than gold bricks would. And so why do different substances have different densities? Is, uh, density is how compact the atoms are. How much mass do they have given the amount of space they take up or how much mass per volume? That's what the equation is. So density is you know, how much empty space do you have in between those atoms? How compact is that material? The tighter they are, the harder it will be. Mr. Watts, please report to the custodial office. Mr. Watts, please report to the custodial office. And then Thank the you. bonus question here, finally, I'm not going to give you this one on the, the little review here. I would say go back and look at your notes for the journal entry where we kept the next day where we kept splitting the piece of wood in half, you know, and look at the answer to that. And again, here's a hint. Hey, what happens to the density? Density should always be the same, right? Because we use that to identify things. If I keep chopping objects in half, it doesn't matter that I've chopped the mass in half because Anytime I chop in half, I'm also chopping the volume half, and that ratio of mass divided by volume will always be the same. And so that's a little clue for you. I'm not going to give you the density uh, answer to the bonus, um, but see if you can figure that out because we did do a journal warm up the next day on, on what would happen by chopping objects in half.